Hi everybody, me again. Uh, I wanted to show you a really easy and intuitive way to add a prefix or change a prefix to multiple file names in one go, rather than doing that one at a time, uh, which is laborious if you've got hundreds of files to do. I did do a video a while ago showing you how to do this in Windows um, PowerShell. Uh, so this uses PowerShell, but it has a different uh, kind of uh, front end to it, which makes it easier. And it's part of the Windows Power Toys utilities called Power Rename. So if you haven't installed uh, Power Toys utilities by Windows, uh, there's a link in the video below of how to install that. So if you do a search for the installed um, uh, Power Toys utility, so just left click on the Windows bar and then type in Power Toys, open up Power Toys. Once that's open, on the left hand side, you want to scroll down to uh, Power Rename. You can see that here. Left click on that, and you want to make sure that that is enabled. I think it's on by default. I can't remember, so I thought I'd just go through that. So enable that, then close that out. Then open up uh, the file uh, or folder with all the files you want. So I've just got some samples here. So you can see here they've all got a common um, prefix, IMG, and then the file name, which is made up of the date and time, I believe. So if you wanted to change the prefix to one of these files, or if you wanted to add a new prefix, you can do that using the um, Power Rename utility within the Power Toys uh, set of utilities. So first thing you want to do is select all of the files that you want to change. So just highlight all of those and then just right click. And once Power Toys Utilities is installed, you've got a new uh, menu item. You can see here it says Power Rename. Left click on that, wait for that to open. The interface on this is much better than the old PowerShell. So straight away, you can see here all of the ticks. It's highlighted all the files. If there was a few there you didn't want to change, just simply untick those, and then the changes won't be applied. So here on the left, you've got your search options. So this is what you want to look for in order to make your changes upon. And then this folder says uh, these are the options to add uh, the text or numerals that you want to add as your prefix. So you've got a few options. So because of the way my files are named by default, I've got IMG. So I could use IMG as a search. So just type in IMG. And this is the cool thing. On the left column here, you've got the original file names. Then on the right hand side, you can see what the file names will be once you execute the changes. So I've just typed in image or IMG. So it's found those and it's removed them from the file name, but then you can replace that. So if I wanted to put in the word prefix, for example, I just type that in here and you can see how that's now changed. So the prefix was IMG underscore. Now it's prefix underscore. If I wanted to keep for some reason, the IMG as the uh, the first few characters after the new prefix. All you go down into this box and enter IMG. And then you can see here on the right, if we made these changes, I've got a new prefix called prefix in this example, and then IMG, it's maintained the old one. So that's one option. I would then press apply here, and then that would rename all the files. The other option I have is to use uh, regular expressions or regex as people often call them. So if I click on use regular expression, uh, I can then use the um, hat symbol. Where is it? There it is. Let's use the hat symbol. And that's going to go to the start of my file name. And then I can decide what I want to put in there instead. So let's just put the word test in there. So you can see now it's gone to the start of the file name and it's just added the word test and underscore. If I didn't want to keep the uh, IMG method, then I would obviously use uh, the previous straightforward character match example that I've done. So you've got two options. You can just use regular text or you can use um, regular expressions or regex. Uh, so let's just go through now and make a change. I'm just going to 
replace img uh, with the word prefix. So again, I'll just go in and type in the word that I'm looking for. So here we go, I'm searching for img, and then I wanna replace that with, let's just say test. So now if I say apply and close, there we go. So it's now img, the prefix has been replaced with the word test. Now, if I wanted to, so let's just imagine that all these file names didn't have a common prefix on them, but you wanted to create one. So all you would do in that instance is again, select all the file names, right click, and then select the power rename utility. Once that's open, you can see it saved my old uh, searches before. So just clear those out. Uh, so this time we will use the use regular expressions, use regex, use the hat symbol. That means it's going to go right to the front of this uh, file name and then just type in the prefix you want. We'll just type in the word prefix and underscore. So you can see there that's added a prefix and it's kept the rest of the file name intact. So there you are, nice and simple. Although it uses PowerShell, the uh, Power Toys Utilities, uh, this one Power Rename, much more intuitive. You've got a nice front end. Um, you can see what the file name's going to look like um, before you commit to making those changes. So I think that's really, really useful. I'll do a few more videos that you of what you can do with uh, the Power Rename Utility as well as some of the other Power Toys uh, Utilities going forward. If that helped, please consider subscribing and maybe even hit that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everyone.